Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today we've got a product from Handseek. This is their Android OTG wire camera, inspection camera, endoscope. Uh, and you can check this guy out on Amazon at the time of this video for $17.50, and I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can check that out. Hanzeek decided to ship this in a tin box, which actually is pretty cool, uh, you know, for storage and stuff like that. And even if you wanted to just throw this in a bag, it's not too big. And it'll protect the wire camera uh, and the accessories that come with it. So let's open this guy up uh, and take this guy out. This is the wire camera itself. It is set up as such. You have a USB, a full-size USB, so that you can use this on your PC or laptop. Uh, it is uh, workable with Windows. Uh, they do not specify Mac, uh, but I have tested this on Windows 10, and it's worked no problem. And then it's got a kind of a handy flip out here that makes this an OTG micro USB for uh, Android t uh, tablets or phones. So that's awesome. And a nice long cable. Now they do these cables in several sizes, two meter, five meter, and 10 uh, meter as well. Uh, so you've got plenty of room depending on what you need to do uh, to, uh, you know, snake this down wherever you need to, car engine, you know, piping, whatever you're looking at. Uh, on the end here, you're going to have your lens, and then you're going to have six LEDs around the outside of the lens. Uh, and you can adjust the brightness on the LEDs here uh, on, right at this box here uh, with this jog wheel. Uh, and there's a capture button as well, although I just use the uh, on-screen controls when I'm trying to capture things. Uh, it, it makes it a lot easier just to do that. Now, uh, they give you a couple of uh, accessories here. They give you a hook, and they also give you a magnet that you can attach to the end of the camera. Uh, this one is obviously the magnet there, so picking up anything, if you drop a bolt somewhere down that you can't reach to, or a hook and you need to pick stuff up, those will attach to the end of the camera uh, with this little sleeve. And then, you have this other piece right here, uh, which is a right angle view mirror. So, and it's got threads on it and it will thread right to the end of the camera. So if I need to, if I'm in a pipe or something like that and I, I can't fit this guy sideways and whatever I'm looking at and I need to look at a right angle, you can just slide this guy in and then you can see the sides of whatever you're looking at. So that's a cool little accessory that they threw in there. So let me get these out of the way and then show you the little insert that they give you. Now they give you a, uh, a place to go and you can get the phone app here or you can get the uh, PC app. They also give you the website. It's www.kkmoom.com and you would do forward slash pc.rar for the PC and forward slash an99apk.apk for the APK for Android. Uh, and then it just kind of shows you, you know, that what you get in it and some specifications here, which we'll go over real quick. Uh, model number is AN99 2-in-1 USB inspection camera. And then you can go from 640 by 480 to uh, 1600 by 1200. Uh, your sensor size is one ninth of an inch. Your frame rate up to 30 frames per second. View angle 67 degree. Waterproof level IP67. It'll work. Uh, again, they'll show you that you can order either two, five, or 10 meter long cables. Uh, you can, the power supply is that five volt DC via USB. It works on Windows XP and above, and it will save photos in JPEG format and AVI files for the video format, just so that you know that. So let's hook this guy up real quick to my Android phone. Uh, I have one running Marshmallow. This is a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and I already have the application installed and what I'll do is I'll plug it in and it'll ask me open AN97 when this USB device is connected. Now you can do it by default if you want and I'll just select OK at this point and what's going to happen is it's going to have a, a splash screen and then in a second here the camera will come up and whatever we're looking at uh, you can see on the screen there. So very good picture at this point. Right now it's at 640 by 40, but uh, 30 frames per second. So you're getting some good real-time video here. Uh, if we want to look at, like, say, the Hanzeek logo, uh, that comes up no problem. Uh, if we want to say, say for real-world application, uh, we drop something behind the table or whatnot. Again, I want to show you one other thing really quickly as well. You've got your LEDs there and the jog wheel will actually make them super bright all the way down to kind of just on. 
uh, all the way to off actually as you can see there so they did a pretty cool job with that we're going to put these guys on and i'm going to snake this behind the table so that you guys can kind of see if we were in a real world situation where say we're looking for something behind the table and we've got this here uh, I can slide this all the way down and get a good look at what's behind the table. And as you can see, I've got that there. Now see, I want I see something that I want to take a picture of. I can just hit this to capture a still image and then I can come and take a look at my still image uh, to see what was down there if I needed to do any repairs or I need to retrieve something or whatever. Uh, so very, very cool by them. Uh, in the design of the application as well. And you can move this guy around all over the place and you get really good resolution on this as well. So I think they did a great job on this camera. Uh, again, it, it does well between six and eight centimeter or millimeters. Uh, as you can see, uh, I can get the Hanzeek logo up there and I'm not that far away from it. It's about six, six to eight millimeters there. Uh, and they do a really good job. The picture comes out very, very well, uh, and they don't. And there's no problems with the application. You can do a few things. You can rotate your camera 180 degrees, 90 degrees left or right. Uh, you can invert the camera, and there's a few things you can do in settings as well. You can select different video sizes: 640 by 480, 800 by 600, all the way up to 1280 by 1024. Um, you know, uh, 1600 by 1200. Now, when you go up to these higher resolutions you're going to go down to like five frames per second on some of them. Uh, so you may want to watch that uh, just because, you know, if you're looking, it's fine. If you need to actually record video of something, I suggest keeping it in 640 by 480. Uh, and then there's some audio settings. You can use USB audio uh, and record that with the video. Uh, so they did a pretty good job on this application as well. So this was the Hanzeek Endoscope OTG Android camera. Again, you can use this with PC as well. I think Hanzeek did a great job with this. Uh, this is a very useful tool, uh, tool to have in your toolbox. Uh, it works very well. The camera works very well. The LEDs are nice and bright when you need them. And you've got a lot of uh, wire to use to snake down to wherever you might need to take a look. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any comments or questions about this guy, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll check you guys out on the next video.